Shanaz and I are both parents. Yep. We both have social media and capturing cute moments of our children and posting them online is appealing to us, of course. It's of fun. Course. We're proud of our kids. Yeah. However, some have warned recently that liberal sharing may not be such a good idea, given that there are risks and dangers that come with it. So what are these risks and dangers that parents should be particularly aware of before posting on social media? And to find the answer, we have a social media expert with us here in the studio, Endana Sufyan. Good morning, Mas Enda. Good morning. Welcome back. Good Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, we want to know um, about the primary concerns or threats um, right. associated with posting children on social media. Maybe you can explain yeah, to us yeah. about this. Well, first will be the external threat, right? Mm -hmm. So it could be from identity theft mm. to just regular frauds, for example. Okay. Yeah. And also the uh, concern maybe when the children grow up and become teenagers, they don't really... Uh, like all of the photos that their yeah. parents have posted, right? So maybe some uh, embarrassing photos that yeah, parents think it's cute, yeah. but not really that cute for their children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe some uh, some unflattering that could be the base of uh, comments from their peers right. yeah. that could be like have a psychological damage for them as well. That's true. Yeah. We we talked a little bit before we came on air. I thought well. What's a couple of embarrassing pictures? You'll get over it. <laughs> but this has actually had some detrimental effects in uh, incidences as well. Could you explain? Could you yeah, uh, some in other countries, for yeah. example, uh, uh, government already have some law or regulation where really yeah they put it that the children, uh, the parents need to have, to have like consent from their uh, their children. The children. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there are some that may be very, very disagreeable children. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, put a lawsuit against their parents really? to take down their photos. Oh. So that's like we don't want to head it over there. Yeah. Of course. But on the other hand, I mean, regular social media Indonesian users mm -hmm. doesn't really care about our own privacy anyway. Yeah. So sometimes we like, if we don't really care about our own privacy, maybe. But I think this is something that we need to educate uh, our own privacy, mm -hmm. but also our, our, our own children's privacy as well. Yeah, just because like just because our kids are three or four years old, mm. well, ten years from now, they'll be teenagers. Yeah, they'll be teenagers. And, yeah, can you imagine being sued by your kids? That would be scary. <laughs> that's frightening for me. You know, that's very scary. But again, we have to ask for their consent as well. Yeah. Yes, not maybe could be like, again, some spectrum where mm. I think Paul also mentioned you show the pictures to their, to your children first and then if they like it, you post it. But also like sometimes now, there are many influencers and social media person or digital creator person who are actually live, make a living out of their children. Yeah, posts, right, that's right? True. right. Or even like uh, share a parenting tips or mm -hmm. become a parenting yeah. influencer. Mm -hmm. Again, if you know the risk, that's fine. Mm -hmm. you just be mindful of the risk. Okay. Okay. Uh, whatever you put in the, on the public perspective or public eye, come with a risk as well. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing that, you know, I've been um, making a living out of mm. um, being a social media influencer, uh, especially um, I'm, I share my tips on parenting right. and stuff, right. but I use uh, my son's name. I don't use my son's right. name. I use a nickname for him. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Uh, there are so many people out there asking me, why didn't you, you know, just tell us mm. your your son's name? I don't want to. I don't know why. But um, is it safe for me? You know, yeah, yeah. because I posted his face, right. but but not that um, not that frequently. Right. But I use this nickname, so nobody knows his real right. name. <laughs> It's a good practice, actually. Like, so if you can, mm -hmm. you you should like put a fake uh, name or identity mm -hmm. where you live, where they go to school. Oh yeah, school. And also, there. Uh, I mean, uh, some people, mm -hmm. especially in the government, who understand uh, social media, they put uh, like a sticker on on top of their yes, uh, children, like an emoji, oh. <laughs> like an emoji, which is I think is a bit strange. Yeah. Because if like. Kind of like distract all of the the, the, <laughs> yeah. the integrity of the photos, right? True. 
but maybe you can just choose uh, like different perspective or different angle of the photos right. so you're not to show your kids it's more right subtle away. yeah more yeah, subtle right. like that I, I i totally respect that if i see a, a person and then they put like a, a smiling emoji yeah. on top of their kid's face i'm totally fine with that i'm like hey i respect your privacy mm. but you know people are way more perceptive than we give them credit for for example um before the first day of school i went to pick up my kids book books with my daughter mm -hmm. so i just uh posted a video selfie of us like hey getting ready for the first day of school making sure that all you can see is kind of like the building right. because i don't really need people to know where my kid goes to school yeah. but in the comments Honestly, at about a couple hours time, there were already like five or six comments of people going, oh, your kid goes to yeah, so-and-so yeah, yeah. school now? Yeah. Like, people are just very aware because they recognize the Did surroundings. No, I don't. I mean, I don't care that much. I just, I was trying to consciously not make it too obvious, but it's not it's not that big of a deal for me because uh, we're the ones that take care of where uh, when my kid goes to school. But in any case, how do we know what to select? Like, right. what yeah, specific yeah. Uh, risks or dangers that we need to be aware of? Uh, for example, like location would right. be, right? Uh -huh. yeah. What are some of the others? So we'll, uh, the very, the, 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 dangerous, the most dangerous part will be like uh, your, like a uh, fax, right? Yeah, mm. your, where your address is, numbers. Okay. okay. Everything related to numbers, complex, yeah. yeah. And if, it's funnily enough that most of the kids today started their social media journey from their sonogram. Like, yeah. if, not even when they're right. born. That's they true. Already, their parents already posted their pictures online, right? Yeah. But also like location, but some of other things is will be a bit more, sometimes we think it's cute our daughter, for example, uh, play in, in bikini, for example, ah, in the beach, yeah. right? Mm, yes. Or even boys, right? Yes. But this is also post a threat as well, because right. there are people who like yeah. this yeah. kind of thing and then they share it or they right. they, they reshare it and then they use it for some other nefarious uh, True. activities. So again, everything that could, if you feel that hey, hey, this is something, could be a threat to, to my children, mm -hmm. then, then don't, don't post, post it. it. Yeah. It's counterintuitive sometimes because yeah. we see it as cute, but not everyone sees it that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm like, who would think of something like that? But there are others there are right other out people there who with, like, uh, it. Yeah, like that word right. nefarious, yeah. it certainly is. So okay, so do you have any tips, you know, for us uh, proud parents, if if we wanna if we wanna post our kids, you know, what are the things that we need to be aware of? Right. Um, because we know there are so many threats out there. Well, if you want to like have a really complete guidelines, there are many, mm -mm. and especially this uh, social media platform also have put out their guidelines mm -hmm. how to be safe, for example, how to to keep your own privacy and your children privacy, and then also how to talk to your teenage uh, children about mm. about their own probably their own probably social media accounts mm. okay. and how they are portrayed in your social media account, right? So if you want to go there and if you are the type of parent who will, like read everything. Those are available, yeah. but the, the 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 simple part will be to be mindfully aware yeah. of what whatever you post, not only your children' privacy, our own privacy as well, actually, yeah. and then to be really know that the, really really aware that there is a risk that is out there, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, I would say the tips, the easiest tip is like think twice before think you post, yes. and not not post everything again. Think about other people's perspective when you see your yeah. chat. And then I think this is for everybody is not to overshare. Yeah, yeah. oversharing is definitely uh, <laughs> something that a lot of people are doing without being aware of it right, as well. Right. I want to ask you about one platform in particular, Instagram. Right. Why Instagram? Because it's visual images, okay? Yeah. So that's that's why I, I think that one is kind of getting the spotlight when it comes to this uh, uh, phenomenon as well. But when it comes to uh, sharing some uh, uh, something through a locked account, for example. Right. Like a lot of people, they'll open, this is my kid's account, yeah. but it's locked and it's controlled right. by the parents. Yeah. Is that safe? Yeah, that's one of the strategy you can do as well. Okay. So because then you control everyone who can see their your children photos. Right. And then you can if, even you can even remove it if yeah, some of or two or the followers that they don't you don't want it to be there. Right. So that could be one of the strategies. But again, not it's not uh, it's not 100% safe. There is mm. nothing that is 100% safe yeah. in social right. media. They could get hacked, for example. They get right? hacked or the followers can even like download your photos and then like, or screenshot your photos and then share it again somewhere else. Okay. So okay, that's, that's scary. Uh, again, it's no no nothing is hundred percent proof, but that's one of the strategies you can you can like, separate your children's account and then 
once they are uh, old enough, you can give them their account. Oh, okay. <laughs> good good thing you, um, thank you for the segue because that was going to be my follow-up question. <laughs> We're talking about children. Anything to me under 18 is still a child. Right, even though you're right. a teenager and you yeah. think you're, you feel like you're right. fully grown. So, in your opinion, what would be an appropriate age to start letting children, older children, right. have control of what they post online? Well, actually, this, their, the social media platform have mostly uh, of the age of 13, 13. where you can start okay. uh, having a, your, your own account. Mm -hmm. But I think between those years, 13 to 18, mm -hmm. is a good uh, time to uh, having a conversation with your children right. on what you can post. And then, of course, also the dangers of someone uh, messaging you, for example, mm -hmm. stranger messaging oh, you. Yeah. When we when we are a child, we know that if someone stranger coming to you, there's there's supposed could be a risk of dangers there. Right. Then you are not supposed to talk to stranger. Right. right, stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> but then now in the social media era, yeah, everyone, everyone who are DMing you, messaging you, you don't know them. That's they're stranger. They're stranger, right? That's so right. again. Uh, I mean, that's the time when you should have a talk. But a lot of uh, safety features are already built in on the, on the platform nowadays. Mm. For example, uh, it's not, you cannot, if you are like older person like me, you, yes. it's not easy to find a teenager uh, account. Is that or, right? Yeah, you cannot oh. actually uh, DM them oh. willy-nilly, okay. for example. And then there's even like, uh, like only two years gap between the teenage where you can DM each other. For oh, example, really? yeah, 19 oh, to, to 21, know. for example. But uh, also bear in mind that this is based on your own declaration of your age. Right, so if somebody okay. puts out yeah. fake information right. and that, has a fake account. Right, right. That's, that's a bit complex to uh, verify your age on social media nowadays. Nice. But that features is actually actually there. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I want to ask you, yes. uh, how's Aluna with uh, social media? Well, we don't. The, the only reason she uses a phone is because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't feel like she deserves to have it taken away now that the pandemic is she? over. She's eight years old. She's eight. Though. But I was just telling Masanda before that as well. Nowadays, when I take a picture, and I learned this throughout uh, talk shows like this as well, mm -hmm. where when I take a picture. Um, I show her first, and I, we usually take no, like three. Is it which okay? one do you like? No, I just kind of, I, I, I kind of disguise <laughs> it. And like, which picture do you like? If she says this one, uh -huh. and then I said, do you like yourself in that picture? And she thinks she looks good. Uh -huh. And then I'll do a follow up. I'm like, if I post this, is this okay? Like, I always ask her these days. Oh. Like, I'm gonna post this, or I just That's tell her I'm gonna post right. it. She usually doesn't say anything because we'll pick out a good picture. <laughs> but I'm sure if she was like, no, I don't like that picture, then I yeah. just won't post it. Like, you have to respect the kids' wishes. At eight years old, they can be quite bossy, so yeah. you have to yeah. listen to what they say. Yeah, but my, my son yeah. already told me, you know, you can, you, can, you can take a picture of this and you can tell your friends on, on, uh, on Instagram. Oh, really? Okay, and, and TikTok. They even, they, <laughs> they even like to read the comments as well. Is that right? right? Yeah, yeah wow, I mean, so like fast. comments of your followers mm -hmm. about their photos. Right. And they, they, don't, they want to see like the feedbacks on that as well. Yeah. So how much should we manage our children's accounts as well? Like how mm. much control should we allow them to have? Or is that just a trust factor that's built and it's relationship uh, based on the relationship you have with your kids? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, this is, this is uh, I mean, every parents now, now probably their children already have their own social media account. Many of them do, yes. Yeah, and then some of the schools actually give them assignment that they have to post their, yeah, their own social media. Yeah, I don't really media. like really? that. Really? Yeah. I've never like heard that. of that either. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so I think parents and teachers uh, should know, should be yeah. aware of this, right? And, but also like, for example, uh, if children, if there's something that coming to you, for example, just let us know or let the, their parents know, right? Yeah. right? Okay. Uh, whatever they're watching, whatever they're po what, someone uh, messaging them, for example, mm -hmm. this is something that the, their, the parents should be aware of. But uh, if you want to try, for example, just Google your your children's name mm -hmm. and see what's come up. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. And this is I'm what this is something that I'm guilty of as well. Okay. I try to Google my son's name, <laughs> and these baby pictures came out. Is that right? Yeah, okay. which is. Uh, I'm thinking maybe no, nobody like searching for that now because my son just entered a university, for right. example. But then when when he goes to 
apply for a job, for example. Oh, and somebody <laughs> looks him up and then his baby picture. <laughs> he's cute when he was a baby. Aww. But is that because of uh, like you sharing it with consent? Or is it just because it's floating out there on the internet? No, I, I sharing it. Okay. It's on my account. I see. Well, I mean, yeah, if it's... Well, after the, the sonogram photos, there may be born pictures, actually the second one that is most people are posted, right? right. But also, uh, I think my mistake will be when I was, at that time I was using his name to put this uh, up, right? Okay. So I think I'm going to go back and then just erase just that. Yeah, yeah. Just well, we it. didn't know the, uh, the ripple effects of this, yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm guilty of that. All three kids, I've got all sonograms up there. In fact, I could go way back, I've got the pregnancy test even. Wow. So it starts, that's where it yeah, started. Right. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, nowadays, uh, Indonesian government actually have a regulation in the internet uh, uh, exchange mm -hmm. law where it's called the right to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, everybody, for whatever reason, they can just go to court and ask for all of their data to be erased. Oh, is that mm. From yeah. the internet. From the internet, but of course, uh, this is. Well, that's nice. I don't ever see nobody like maybe someone already tried to do this, mm -hmm. but I don't know. There's, I haven't read a case on this in Indonesia. Right. But the law is actually is already there. Okay. Be probably because it would be rare that somebody wants everything erased. Yeah. But this I could be something that is out of necessity if you need to. Yeah. 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 And sometimes the problem is not only from the parents. You know, sometimes it's from the grandparents. Yeah. They posted yeah. it online. You know, they keep on telling um, people how proud they are of their <laughs> yeah. grandchildren. Which isn't a bad thing if you think yeah. about it's it. The, the intention thing, is good. The intention is good, but still, yeah. I don't It's the danger is the danger. pop up after that. Yeah. So, um, good to know that there are laws uh, that are now starting to be resurrected to protect our right. children. But what other resources or support networks are available for us parents who want to learn more about how we can protect our children? Uh, again, I mean, uh, there are some guidelines out there, right? Uh, me and myself, and me and some of our, my friends also have this account called Bijak Bersosmed. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can follow that as well. Okay. Uh, we share tips and we share news and information about how to use social media wisely and smartly. But there are, again, this is a part where your parenting uh, skill or parenting, what do you call that? Where instinct. Instinct coming, <laughs> coming in where you want to uh, read a lot of what you can do or not yeah. do. But the information actually is on, on the internet, right? Yeah. Guidelines, videos. but. I think that's not the problem. The problem will be that not many social media user Indonesian parents are aware of this. Yeah. Right? Are aware of the risk, are aware of... And some of them are like, uh, whatever, uh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can, again, uh, sometimes they just want to get getting it. This is when we talk about public figures, for example, or celebrities. Sometimes they offer exploit as well their children. Yeah to yeah, get uh, money, to get investment. Likes even, just likes, right? Yeah, yeah. Likes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, this is uh, Bijak Bersos Met. I'm having a look at it, and already on the first page, I'm seeing a lot of very interesting topics, some of them that we covered here today as well. This one's very interesting to me. And, uh, you know, in regards to deep fake or AI, yeah. a lot of it is based on data, and the data <laughs> comes from us a lot of times, right? Yeah. By us posting pictures of our kids, that's giving an opportunity for those pictures to be taken and can be used for stuff like this as well, right? AI? Yeah, uh, in theory, that's what's happening. Mm. Like, for example, based on all of the, our posts, for example, all of our photos, mm -hmm. someone can create a, kind of like a, not a mirror, but like a simulation of us. Yeah, Do, saying whatever they want to yeah. say. Yeah, the sound is there, the, right. how we speak is right. there, because we... From videos. People, from videos, mm -hmm. and especially you guys on... Oh my goodness, on, on they can make a whole movie using us as characters. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. the... Well, again, I mean, this is the scary part, which is a spectrum, right? Yeah. So that can happen. Uh, the safest uh, part can happen as well, but I think we are in the middle. Like, yeah. so we have to find a balance yeah. between don't be too scared as well. AI yeah. can do this, AI can do this. Yes, they can, but it's not easy and it's not cheap, mm -hmm. right? So you need to have someone who really expert and want to spend a lot of money to create those kind of things about right. you, for yeah. example. Yeah, for to what reason? Yes, all, right? but then don't post too much as well. Mm -hmm. And or one of other strategies, like this, the account that is separate, is to limit your audience. Okay. Mm. So if you can limit your audience really to just a few people or few friends, 
who can re actually really see your children photos, that's another strategy that you can try as well. There you go. Okay. I, always, uh, I always like the phrase, um, uh, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. I think that can be totally applied to this. Yeah. There you go. All right, okay. Feel better? Um, no, not exactly. <laughs> not at all. I not think she exactly. feels worse. <laughs> because I'm thinking, I'm trying to find a way, you know, to share my experience also about the parenting stuff yeah, and all, yeah. but try to do it safely because we don't know yeah. what's out oh, there. Another thing that I want to add is also be careful on when what you tell stories about how your children struggle. Mm. Like sometimes it could be embarrassing for him oh, or for her when they're yeah. kid. Maybe uh, all, uh, all kind of struggle, like like studying, uh, yeah. uh, difficulties of studying, or emotional. difficulties of emotional or anything. Again, th those kind of things are private, but sometimes we want to share because we want other people to learn from our ex or our experience. Yeah. Right? So just careful and mindful about what you are sharing. And maybe I think you already have it right with not actually mention your... That's a good strategy. I love that strategy. Yeah. Yeah. That. So nobody can Google him. Yeah. yeah. By the nobody way, can. I'm guilty of that last thing you said. A few days ago, my son was having dinner. He like he can't sit still a lot of times yeah. when having dinner. And he got himself stuck in the chair. <laughs> like his and legs this way. And I was looking for my phone. My wife's like, help him out. I'm like, wait, wait, let me just get a video. She's like, don't take a video. <laughs> But you don't post Please it, don't. right? I didn't even take the okay. video. Right. She's like, don't take a video. Like, you think he's going to want to see that later? I'm like, yeah, you're right. That was, I was just hoping to go viral. Anyway, thank you, Masenda. Thank you, Masenda. Thank you. It was a great conversation. We yeah. hope that you were able to find a lot of insight and information. And yeah. if you do want to do, uh, know more, uh, you can find out. Bijak Bersosmed is very interesting. I've been looking through it as well. It gives you lots of tips on what you can do yeah. as well as parents. Yeah, and just try to be, you know, consider it. Be mindful. Be yeah, mindful. Absolutely. And do not overshare. Okay? Yes.